Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janelle Veronica here. If you are new to the channel, I post videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. We're all about the makeup. I love testing, reviewing products, you know, showing you generally how I beat my face. So if you're into that stuff, make sure that you subscribe and you join the channel. Turn your post notifications on so you never miss when I upload. So with that said, let's jump right in. For today's video, I'm going to walk you through my makeup application. As usual, I love doing a full face makeup application so that you guys can see the products that I'm using, the products that I'm loving and that I swear by. For today's video also, I'm going to be testing out for the first time the OPV Beauty London, the Spotlight Palette, eyeshadow palette. This is the first time I'm using a palette by OPV Beauty and this one looks so pretty. All right, these are the shades in the palette. We have some nice neutrals for if you're going for a softer look and you have your pops of color in the eyeshadow palette. So this baby is what we're going to be working with today for the eyes. I'm going to start with my base and I've been loving the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. This is what I'm going to go in with and prime my face. I've already moisturized and for moisturizer, I love the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Moisturizer. It has zinc and it is good at absorbing excess oils in your skin and I have oily skin. So I love going in with that first. That L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer, it's lightweight, it sinks into the skin nicely and it is good at mattifying my face. For foundation, I'm going to go in with another L'Oreal product. This is a drugstore foundation that I really, really, really like. This is the L'Oreal Infallible The Pro Matte. I'm using this in shade 113 Brown Suede. All right, so I'm all blended out and look at how beautiful that foundation is. It's drugstore, but it's good. It's medium to buildable coverage. I went in with the equivalent about two pumps of the actual foundation, but you can go in with a little bit more if you want to build it up and if you want maximum coverage. I'm going to conceal and highlight using the MAC 24 hour concealer. This is from the Studio Fix line and I'm using this in shade NC45.
For a little bit more brightness, I'm going to go in with another concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. My week is going fantastic. So I hope I'm wishing the same for you. I'm going to set my concealer down using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread. Alright, I'm just going to let that bake a little bit while I go in with my contour. For contour, I am going in with the Milani Contour and Highlight Cream Liquid Duo. And I'm just going to, you know, chisel those cheekbones out, bring some dimension back to the face, put some shadow back to the face. To set my foundation down, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Gobi. I'm going to switch now to a black opal true color ultra matte foundation powder in the shade 450 medium dark and I'm going to go in and press that into the foundation as well. I find this makes my makeup look so smooth. It gives me a little bit more coverage since it's a foundation powder. And since I have oily skin, I like to make sure that my makeup is nicely set and that everything looks nice. I'm going to quickly bronze my face using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer. I'm using this in the shade Mahogany. I'm working some of that same contour down my nose just for a little bit of sculpting on the nose.
to reverse contour I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place I am magic powder and just cleaning up that bronzer and doing a bit of reverse contouring all right so I'm just gonna let that sit and bake a little bit I like the look that it gives when you reverse contour and you clean your bronzer up it gives you that more chiseled look to your face I'm just going to quickly do my brows off camera and come back and get into the eyeshadow palette all right so I zoomed you in a little bit I'm still baking so please ignore that you know we dust away the bake closer to the end of the tutorial I'm going to start by going into the palette and first of all let me say this palette is so pretty so beautiful it looks very promising they are one two three four five six seven matte shades there's a matte black in the palette and then there are 11 shimmer shades it's an 18 shadow eyeshadow palette I'm going to start by going into this very warm brown it's almost like an orangey brown and blend that all in my crease and a little bit up into the transition there isn't too much kit back on the palette which is good there's a little bit but not too much there is a mirror in the palette which is fantastic and I primed my lids with the Juvia's Place I prep I prime eyeshadow primer in shade number two Okay, this is blending so easy. It's not patchy and this palette retails for £29. You can get it at opvbeauty.com. All right, so I want to see how the mattes are going to layer on top of one another. I'm just going to switch brush brushes and go into this purple shade called star that color right there and I'm just working that a little lower down into the crease Alright, so that is some pigment. I'm going to go into the black in the palette called Exposure and I'm going to just see what the black is given. I'm going to work it on the outer edge. I'm just tapping in ever so lightly for my lid there's a shimmer shade called deep lug let me show you guys all right this is like a burgundy shimmer shade let me do a swatch of it it I'm gonna work it on my lid next to the black all 
all right so that's pretty the shimmers aren't creamy but they do grip onto your lid nicely and it's gripping nicely over that you know the eyeshadow that is already on my eye that's so pretty All right, there's a gold in the palette called Exhibit. All right, this gold shade, shade in the corner. I'm just gonna work that on the inner part of my lid. Alright, that is so pretty. What I will say about the eyeshadows, about the shimmers, is that they are not very creamy, but they do cling to the eye. They do apply. As you can see, there's pigmentation and it shows up. I'm just going to go back in with that burgundy shade and just work it through my crease again. A little bit more with the finger now I'm going to just dust away the bake so that I can work on my lower lash line this eye look is doing it for me this is so pretty I'm gonna start by going in with the black the color exposure and I'm gonna keep this on the outer corner of the eye of the lower lash line look at how that shows up and I'm barely dipping my brush in I'm going to go in with the burgundy shade called Star that I look is I enjoyed using this palette that was so much fun but I'm just going to pop some lashes on come back and I'll show you how I'm going to finish off the rest of my face I'm going to do a nice lip to go with the makeup look with the eyeshadow look and just wrap everything up I really like this eyeshadow all right guys, so lashes are on. I'm gonna move on with the rest of my face now. For under my eye, just to give me a little bit more brightness, I've been going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Blurring Powder 
in the shade number 30 medium deep this is the darkest shade that this powder comes in so I have to use it under my eye but it find I find it gives me a little bit more brightness under my eye and it definitely does blur and smooth all right and you can see how that definitely did brighten my under eye and it gave me that little pop that little extra thing I'm going to go in with my blush and for blush today I'm going to go in with a MAC sheer tone blush in the shade pinch me I'm just going to keep it nice and soft and pink I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose using the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Lasting Fits Matte setting spray while that dries down I'm going to move on to lips I'm going to line my lips with my itty bitty but faithful reliable and lovely LA girl precision lip pencil perfect precision lip pencil in the shade chocolate Lipstick is also by LA Girl. This is the LA Girl. These are the matte flat velvet lipsticks. I love them. I am using the shade Hush. I'm going to go over this with a Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color. It's supposed to be matte, but it still has a bit of shine to it. It's more like a matte, like a gloss. And I'm using this in the shade Brazers. All right guys, and that's the makeup look complete. I've walked you through my full makeup routine. I must say I am in love with the eyeshadow palette. It looks like if my lash is low, fixed it. It was lifting a little bit um, in the inner corner, but the OPV Beauty London Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette really did bang it's a banger the mattes blended out nicely there was no patchiness patchiness when it was blending the mattes out also with the glitter shades the shimmer shades they are not creamy they don't feel creamy to touch but they do apply nicely and they do cling to the actual lid even over the other matte eyeshadows that i had laid down initially so I would definitely give this a thumbs up. I really like the Revlon Photo Ready Blurring Powder that I used under my eye. I find that it gives me just the right amount of lift for my highlighting and I really do enjoy it. So all in all, I'm in love with the makeup. The lip is cute. I hope you had fun. I hope you're going to subscribe and join me for other makeup videos. As I said, I post on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. 
So it was nice hanging out with you guys. And until next time, be fabulous. Have a fantastic week wherever in the world you are and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.